Top model Erica Kane, under indictment for the murder of her employer, Kent Bogart, reportedly showed up in the disguise of a nun. Yesterday at Bogart's memorial service at St. Ignatius Church in Manhattan, police say that she disappeared before they could apprehend her. Millionaire industrialist Lars Bogart, the slain man's father, has vowed to see the model stand trial for the alleged murder and has offered a $50,000 reward for information leading to her capture and arrest. Why doesn't he leave me alone? I didn't do it. I did. Oh, good morning, sister. Well, good morning, Mrs. Whalen. Has the morning paper come? So one twenty-two fifty. That was for the pump. Okay. Then there was a massage, fourteen ninety-five. Morning, ladies. How's Hi everything? Hi, Chad. It's great. It's How you doing? Beautiful day out, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Yep. As a matter of fact, Jenny, I was thinking that you should get out and enjoy it. Well, I'd like to, but I've got all these bills I've got to get done. Well, that's okay, honey. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, did you happen to have anything special in mind, Pat? I most certainly do. I have a very special invitation for Miss Jenny Gardner oh, from Mrs. It? Martin. Oh, what, what is, is it? Martin? Yep, she decided that since the weather is so gorgeous, she was going to fix a picnic lunch, serve it on the porch, and she wants you to attend. That's really nice, but Mama wants these bills out today. Oh, honey, don't you worry about that. I'll take care of these little bills. I'll finish them myself. There's no rush with these. Why step. don't you go on and enjoy Mama, yourself? I promise you I'll, I'll do them today. Okay? You're in the boat. Okay, okay, I will get them out today. I know you will, honey. Okay. You're a good girl. Come on, come on. Bye -bye. Just waiting for us. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I am sweet, and I'm glad when you tell me I'm sweet, too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, honey. Thanks a lot, Ted. Show her a real good time now. You got it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yes, Ethel, honey, huh? Jenny left. Phoebe, I never meant to upset you so. No, it's all right. I, I, I had to know. You had to tell. Oh, what an evil, evil man. Yes, he is. And that's what scares me more than anything, as to where all this is going to end. And... Daisy, you don't think... Phoebe, that... think for a moment. Think what he was willing to go through even before that baby was born. He was going to risk his wife's life and, and put that child away. You, you don't mean murder? No. No, I don't think he would murder the baby. But you know how Palmer's mind is, how he thinks. There are all kinds of accidents that can happen to a baby, and no one ever knows why. Oh, how they occur. Accidents with babies, it's so easy, but I know oh, that does it. I've got to stop that man. <laughs> What is it you're going to do, Phoebe? I am going to call him and get that baby out of Palmer's house and right now. He thwarted me once, but he won't do it again. Courtland Manor? Oh, thank goodness it's you. Uh, I, I need to speak with you, dear. Uh, could you come over to tea today? Well, I'll... I had some things to do, but if you've got something on your mind... Oh, but it's important. It is important. Please. Well, of, of course, Mrs. Wallingford, Donna. I'd be... Excuse me. Honey, I'm on the phone. Donna, give me the phone. Uh, give me that. <gasps> Phoebe, this is Palmer. What are you calling here for? I was speaking with I Donna. I a question, woman. What are you calling here for? I want to speak with Donna. I was speaking with her before. Now put her back on this phone. I will do no such thing. I've told you before, I don't want you bothering us. And furthermore, I meant it. Again, how I feel about that woman. Why won't you listen to 
Because, honey, you're just so unreasonable about oh, her. Now, listen, you, you had no right to grab the phone out of my hand like oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, darling, I was only doing it for your own protection. Oh, honey, don't be silly. How could she possibly hurt me? Uh, hey, wait a minute. What are you doing home this time of day? I thought you had some big business thing to go to. Well, you see, I had to come home and get some... Uh, Papers. Well, thank heavens I did. Now, listen, darling, I'm going to tell you this for the last time. You are not going to have tea with Phoebe Wallingford. And furthermore, you're not going to have anything whatsoever to do with her. Come on, now, is that clear? What, wait, wait, that honey, you can't me? order me around like that without giving me a reason. Well, my reason is, darling, is that woman hates me, and she will do her best to turn you against me. She has never once in my presence criticized you. I'm beginning to think you're getting a complex about her. Oh, no, 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 no. She's still furious with me because, well, I just wouldn't pay any attention to her asinine suggestions about Founders Day. Well, you came in there, found her ranting and raving at hey, Honey, she flies off the handle every once in a while, but I really don't think she's still got a grudge against you. Oh, no, 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 no. She has a killer instinct. Hey, I know her at least as well as you do. I remember, she used to be pretty rough on me, too, mm -hmm. but she's changed. Wrong, wrong. Oh, no, no. She's, she's worse than she ever was. No, underneath that exterior, there's a vein wounded old gorilla who's out for revenge and I she's out for blood. I disagree with you. Oh, well, darling, at least, I mean, at least do it for my sake. Do it for the sake of our marriage, please. Mm. Oh, honey, don't you know she couldn't do anything to hurt oh, our marriage? Well, she'd do her damnedest, let me tell you. If she'd get in her cup, she'd make up all sorts of filthy lies about well, me. Listen, in the first place, I don't think she would. And in the second place, you know I'd never listen to that kind of no, talk. Oh, well, now, come on, I know that you would. So would you use, please, lose your common sense. Come on, where is your loyalty to me, darling? Come on. <laughs> Now listen, don't give her a chance to make up dirty, filthy lies about your poor husband. There now, if you would care to accompany me to this chair, I will give you a nice set. I hope you appreciate the fact that I was able to squeeze you in like this. I usually don't take people who don't have appointments. Well, I wouldn't have called at the last minute, except I have a very special engagement tonight. I usually go to Mr. Henri. You see that French guy with that factory up on 57th Street? For your information, his is the most expensive salon in New York. Oh, I know. <laughs> Mr. Jim told me all about it one time. Well, then you can understand why I was hesitant to come here. Yeah, well, I would say that you got here just in time, ma'am. Because if this hair is any example of that French guy's work, he should definitely go to an American beauty school. What's the matter with my hair? Well, it's just completely the wrong color and style for your face, that's all. Look, I didn't come here to be insulted. Just do my hair in the same style I normally wear it, and please don't take all morning. Oh, okay. I certainly wouldn't want to offend Erica Kane's little sister or nothing. I don't want preferential treatment because of her. Well, you are certainly gonna get it anyway. <laughs> Now, your sister, she is a beautiful woman. Don't you think so? Well, considering the flaws that she has, I think she's learned a number of tricks to compensate. For well, whatever it is that she does to herself, in my opinion, the end result is just absolutely gorgeous. I heard how she, Kent was cheating on her, and I must say, I was so shocked. I mean, why on earth would he want to fool around with a woman who looks like you when he's already sleeping with like one of the world's most beautiful women? You don't know anything about it. Oh, well, no, but I do have my eyes, which can tell the difference between one woman and another. For your information, I am very young and I'm starting a modeling career of my own and I'm already very sought after. Uh-huh. Well, I'm sure that you could probably have a good career doing those mail-order catalogs and stuff like that, but certainly nothing in the big time. Kent himself has told me many, many times that I'm an extremely beautiful woman. But you know what's important? We had more than that to our relationship. It wasn't just... There, were, there was depth and substance, something Erica could never, ever have with someone because she doesn't know how to give and to share. She only cares about herself. You know, he was only an object to her. Oh, you mean like a sex object? I know how that is. That's kind of like how my boyfriend is for me some of the time. Well, I'll bet Mr. Bogart was something else between the sheets, though, huh? 